So I thought it might be a bit more interesting um, if I did a little video just, uh, you know, showing my impression as I took things out and uh, maybe I'll set it up on the uh, well-lit bench inside and do some talking hand stuff a bit later. But um, let's give this a go. So I thought I'd start off with all the small stuff, small stuff um, here on the table. Ah, crunchy plastic, that'll sound really good. So, spats look pretty good for a start. Uh, it's nice that they've already got the uh, blind nuts properly embedded in the um, in the fiberglass there. You can also see this extra little uh, indent here and all, which will make sense very shortly. Um, I think this is something that Skywing has done basically better than anyone, and that's their axle design. These are just fantastic. So we'll see that there's um, you know, this end, obviously, as you'd expect, goes through the... Um, through the uh, landing gear leg. This one retains the wheel. Super simple, just nylock nut. No more uh, crappy uh, eyelets to get loose or anything like that. And this extra one with even the little uh, anodized washer that uh, sits in there to, you know, really retain the spat well on both sides. That's really good. That's a really good start. Two. I'll just maybe move this to the side and you know, pull things into screen as they come up. Um, this came with my other uh, Skywing kit. This is just some rubber edging. It's really nice going around cowling cuts and things like that. Um, that's a really handy thing to throw in the kit. I like that. Uh, throttle linkage, ball links. None of those uh, EZ connectors that I know people uh, hate. So that's that's a good good continuation. Um, some more pretty cool stuff that comes with them. Uh, that's a little fuel tank mounts. Uh, some of that uh, double-sided universal velcro fuel outlet with a plug uh, this has been really great on my laser uh, fuel filler really good quality these um, they come with the kit too and some fuel hose and uh, two strips of velcro so it's all really handy stuff that uh, most of the you know well-known kits don't come with all this hardware so that's neat um, some of that nice uh, expandable cable tidy stuff um, I use a lot of this I wondered where I bought my last batch from, but it, it came with my last Skywing kit, so that's cool. Um, some random laser cut ply. I don't know what these are actually for yet. Um, I'm sure it'll be obvious when I start putting the kit together. It's obviously a uh, spacer for... Oh no, it might be a servo box. That's probably a servo box in kit form. Uh, control horns. Nothing really to write home about here. Just make sure I put the right ones in the right spot. But they look good. Uh, ball linkages. You all know what these are like. Um, can't feel any play in them, so that's a good start. Pull pull rudder kit. I'll put that in the spares bucket. Uh, these are neat. The uh, XT60 panel mounts. So it tidies up your wiring a bit. These are really really cool. Um, I used these on my last one and they were great. You uh, chuck them. Look like that. Chuck your XT60 in there and um, glue it in and plug it in through the board. It's really tidy. Keeps it keeps it clean inside there. Um, half of another thing that comes with these models that doesn't come with another one is a spinner. Um, kind of neat thing too that they actually give you a uh, drill guide for it. Um, so the spinner's undrilled, but you know you can use that drill guide, slip it on there. Use that as a part of your process for uh, drilling your prop and spinner together, spinner back plate together. Make all that work. Oh well, we're going well. Let's keep moving at this pace. We've got um, some landing gear. Nice that they painted this. The uh, raw carbon's cool, but this looks really nice. Color looks really good on this. Don't know how well that comes up, but it's got a nice bit of sparkle to it. That's going to look nice. Uh, everything's pre-drilled, which is really sweet. Um, you know, no more lining spats or anything. They just bolt on. So that looks good to me. Um, tailwheel stuff. Let's just chuck all that together. Uh, they got a really nice tailwheel assembly. Um, same as what's used on my uh, my laser. 
um, that'll look really nice and strong. Uh, PilotRC.com. Oh, I wonder if uh, Jim Y and Tony are good friends, but anyway, uh, that looks nice and beefy. I've never managed to break one of these, so they must be good. Uh, there's your little cover for the tail wheel. Um, so that's neat, tidies up the back of the plane a bit. Let me start getting to some covered bits. Oh, I might just wait a little bit. Here we go. So now we've got a fuel tank. So, again, I think it's kind of neat with the Skywing that stuff like this comes with the model. Um, they even come with the nice little foam mounting bits you saw earlier. Uh, so this looks good. The only thing that I can see is missing is it'd be nice to have a bit of a hard tube in there just to, you know, stop the accidental, uh, you know, clunk ending up at the wrong end. But that looks fine otherwise. Um, that's the anodized cap. Oh, again, uh, my second one of these and the other one's working really good so I'm not expecting much of a drama there. So moving on at our million mile an hour cat pace. Got all of our outlets here. Not very exciting, but it's nice that these are included in pre-cut. Um, big underfuse outlet, little one, and this will be for the um, where you mount your ignition module um, on top of the motor box. Nice little pass-through you can cut there, run all your wires through. Uh, screws included, of course. So that looks good. So I think we're basically through all of the small hardware now. So get to the fun stuff. Oops, starting to get to some covered stuff. Um, let's have a look at this rudder. Okay, good so far. I'm really liking their choice of colours. This is really going to stand out well. Um, can't see a single bubble on that, so that's that's really good news. Um, tiny bit of covering there to put down, but that's not too bad. But yeah, um, covering looks really good. No bubbles, no issues like that. Guessing there's a little, yep, there's a little gap in there for that to slot into. You probably can't see it, probably holding it too close to the lens. But yeah, that's um, that's really exciting. I'm really liking this color scheme. And I, yeah, it's really nice when you get the model out of the box and there's just absolutely no wrinkles. It's just perfect the way it is. What we're doing on the table. Uh, let's, have, let's have a look at these horizontal stabs. So we'll just... We'll grab both out and just make sure the quality's good. Um, I really like that they've covered the hinges these days. Everything's pre-hinged, that's neat. Uh, same as the rudder, there's absolutely no wrinkles on this whatsoever. All the edges look really, really clean. Uh, a little pointy bit there could be picked up. Something that, um, as a sign maker, always bothers me a little bit is the manufacturers don't just uh, round these off in software. Well, that hasn't worked. I think the blade's blunt because it's been cutting all other kinds of stuff. But rounding these off in software before you cut them would just make them last so much better. Something you always avoid when you're making stickers and that is pointy um, edges because that's always where it fails. But other than that, it's looking really good. Colour is just fantastic. And again, no complaints about the uh, finish on that. You know, pull open the... Uh, I will stab and just make sure it's the same. Yep, same deal here. This looks really good. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely pleased with that. They've wrapped it nice and far around those edges, so that's good. A little bit of covering glue there, but you know, you start getting to the really fussy ends of things. The end's really consistent, and it looks like they put a little bit of sealing on it. So, really good so far and get to the big bits. Um, the old workbench was starting to get a bit less practical, so I um, thought I'd give it a go out here. Fortunately, I'm going to be holding the camera this time, so uh, you're going to have to bear with me. The uh, third hand I ordered hasn't arrived yet. Uh, the genetics department's working on it. So, there's a wing. Um, once again, I really love the colour. And again, the covering looks great. There's absolutely no blemishes in this whatsoever. Um, no wrinkles or anything, which is nice. Always a good telling thing is looking at these edges. And well, it's had a little bit of a knock in the factory there. It's really probably a bit rough of me to criticise that. Hinge feels good. It's interesting looking at this too. You can see um, new wing retainment system which I think is basically what they were using on the 60 inch models um, but they've just scaled it up now for the larger ones 
um, these things, SFGs, they'll go back in there and they'll probably stay there forever. Wing tube, as to be expected, etc. And the other wing. Um, yeah, looks like things are still going really good. I guess now we'll move on to that big bit that uh, is sitting over there staring at us. Two bits because um, I don't think anyone wants to see me try and manage a phone whilst uh, carefully unpacking this, but just showing. It's usual wrapped in plastic, more landfill sadly, but otherwise uh, looking pretty good. All right, I'll uh, cut some tape. After a bit of a fight, fight, it's open. So, starting at the front, I like this uh, double layered firewall if you're running a, um, what is it, a, a, a DLE 65 where you've got to punch that hole. They've certainly made that easy for you. That just looks like it knocks out. Um, you can see the uh, partially cut out servo mounts. So, um, looks like we've got a bit of the usual Skywing mess we've seen so far, which is, covering looks really good. Uh, I have noticed it here, it is more of a 7 out of 10 than the uh, 10 out of 10 that the rest of it's been, so, you know, a couple of points off there, but really can't complain. Um, inside that canopy, nice, <laughs> nice effort on the dash, actually, that's really cool, I like the printing there. Um, would be cool if this came with a pilot. Um, guessing the pilot sits in the front seat on these, because, no, the back seat, because it's further away from the CG. Um, so might need to find a good pilot for that. If anyone's come up with a good pilot, um, let me know. That'd be great. Something that suits the plane. So it looks like we're pretty traditional uh, canopy removal. Sorry, you have to excuse the one-handed operation there. But yeah, that, um, that works really slick as always. The uh, magnetic pins. And it's not just the magnetic pins that holds the canopy on. It's also these uh, little latching tabs there. They just really do a good job. And um, something I've been really looking forward to seeing is these new um, latching system. And, you know, I'm not a very smart man, but I think this is freaking genius. If we see this little protruding piece of uh, fiberglass here, latches the wing. No more forgetting to put the wing pins in. You can't put the canopy on without latching the wings. And that's just fantastic. So we've got the same front and back. Man, that's just, you know, that's just a really good solution. A nice little cooling tunnel there made out of foam. Might see how it looks trying to get some footage inside there. Might be a bit dark. Unfortunately, it's a bit dark to see, but um, nice that it ducts all that air out. Um, some nice heavy-duty extension leads. I might have to ask or... Um, Stop being lazy and actually measure this, but I think these are 20 gauge. Um, they feel really beefy, so certainly no complaints here. I'll turn it on its side. Oh, sorry, pin. See, so, yeah, covering and undersides looking good. No complaints here. Love this kind of thing, just putting the bolts already in underneath it, ready to go. I think that's really classy. Um, bottom's ready to be cut out for those cooling outlets. Uh, yeah, extension leads already sitting in the back here. Uh, this is a bit hard one-handed, but you know that we're getting lazy as error modelers, aren't we? Unlatched and latched. So that's really simple. Um, yeah, so that's end to end of the plane. Um, bolts already in place for the rudder for the uh, tail wheel, I should say. So. And that's really classy. So I think that's the fuselage done. And um, you know, I'm sharing my first impression with you, and my first impression was really good. Uh, I'm gonna pop this out just to, you know, beat a dead horse and show how fancy I think these uh, latches are. Go whoops! I'm ready to fly. Wings on. Been talking to my buddy. This is harder than it looks one-handed. Boom. Wings are latched, so um, yeah, you really can't go wrong there. Well, anyways, um, hope this video's 
been a little bit useful to you. Oh, something I like too is if you want to put your um, ignition module in the in the uh, motor box, which is kind of nice. Um, keeps it nice and tidy up the front. These big thick grommets here to run the ignition leads through. So certainly think that's a neat feature. And the color match is sort of a nine out of ten here. I mean, it's pretty damn good. It's it is hard getting the covering right. I know most of the other manufacturers can't do it. Um, but yeah, the, co the color match is pretty good. It actually looks a little bit better to my naked eyes than it does to the camera. But the lighting in here could be making it a bit a bit better than it actually is. But pretty pleased with that overall. Probably forgot what might be the most important bit. Um, maybe a bit hard to get on camera in this close, but we'll see how we go. It's just a lot easier to undo this stuff while I'm not holding it. To start with, pre-made foam baffles. I mean, that's just brilliant. That's um, something I'm really lazy about making and something I don't have to do now, which is really cool. Let's get this uh, foam off. The colour looks really nice. And here we go, a 1NG cowling. Um, I know where I'm going to cut out for the air outlet, so that's easy. Yeah, the uh, paint and the edges looks really good. The quality of the glasswork looks great. Um, the mounting hardware looks pretty solid. Nice big wooden box down there for the bottom, and these two concealed ones at the top, so no screw holes in the side. The little scale uh, NG inlet. Uh, cuffs. Not very exciting, but these do the job. These go great with those uh, little rubber trims if you want to run them around. Although I know some people prefer without it. Um, so scale one doesn't have it, but I prefer to run that little rubber trim around the edge because that way it doesn't eat into the covering. And um, to complement the uh, spinner back plate I showed earlier, um, something you don't get with a lot of the models, which I think is pretty neat that you do with the scarring, and that's a spinner. Um, in the right colour and in the right scheme. And um, yeah, the colour there is perfect, so that'll look absolutely fantastic. So um, yeah, I think that's the last bit of the build. Well, the last bit of what comes out of the box. Um, hope you enjoyed watching. I'm not sponsored by Skywing. I don't have any financial links to them. I'm just a bored, mad keen era modeler. Um, trying to share the experience of uh, opening one of these early NG kits with you. Um, yeah, and I hope it's um, been interesting. I'm going to try and update further. Sorry, door closing. Update you further as the build goes on. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this goes together. Um, yeah, thanks for your time.